Alright, hi guys, my name is Keeper Allison. I've been at Zoo Montana for about three years. Um, I've been zookeeping for about six years, so still a rookie, but I do have a little bit of experience under my belt. Um, and I have such a cool job that I'm actually here today um, to show you guys what it's like to be a zookeeper. It's pretty awesome. Alright guys, you ready? Let's go! <laughs> so first things first, um, we get a positive check on all of our animals. And essentially that means that we go and make sure that everybody's um, you know, alive, um, they're healthy, they're not stuck in something, nobody's you know, bleeding from a ripped off toenail. Um, just because we don't have any night keepers here, we want to make sure that we get that first thing in the morning. So we're going to go check our bird of prey right now. These animals that are being a bird of prey, their main source of catching their food is their really strong, sharp feet. Um, and I want to protect myself, so I'm going to use this glove right here. Oh, good boy, Keeble. Oh, they're a little grumpy. That's why he's clacking. Hey, buddy. We're actually getting weighed today. We try and weigh all of our animals at least every month. Um, birds, I try and do every other week. He was pretty good at it. Hey, buddy. Can you step down? Please. There you go, good boy. All right, we weigh 1191 grams. Perfect. Can you step up again? So I'm looking at Gable in the sunlight, doing kind of like a physical body check, making sure that his beak isn't scratched up. Sometimes he likes to fall and kind of gets it scratched. Checking his toenails, making sure they look good, not overgrown, not ripped off. And he looks good. And we're nice and fluffy, which is a sign of a happy bird. All of our birds, except for our owl, eat in the morning. Okay, and we're ready. Oro's getting half of a rabbit today. Zookeeping is definitely not for the squeamish, you know, circle of life and all. Good morning! I like to show him his food. It's a rabbit. Hey, buddy! Oh, yeah. You see it. There you go. A golden eagle pellet. It looks like this one, uh, he ate a quail. So this is a, a primary wing feather from probably the left wing. Here we can actually take this feather um, and cut it and our veterinarian can kind of put like a little stint in it and put it back on his wing so it looks like he has all of his feathers again and helps him with the air balance and everything. Mm -hmm. A mixture of fish and chicken, variety of spice of life in the zoo world. And then we change it up every day. They get um, a mix between um, whole prey items like quail, rabbits, rats, um, pinkies, mice, um, and then also some donated items. Um, we get a lot of meat donated to us here. So that includes fish, chicken, and what we call chunk meat, which is essentially steak. He's ready. <laughs> he's right here. Oh, look, he's right here. Hi. <laughs> Today is catfish. Actually, one of our keepers went fishing and caught a huge catfish, so we shared that between all the animals. Yeah, they love it, especially our otters. Yeah. His beak is very sharp, um, and we've worked a lot on our relationship to make sure that he doesn't bite me. There you go. There you go. So lurch his feet. Um, they're not like a typical bird of prey, but um, he's more of a scavenger than a hunter. Um, so they're not as strong, um, but I still wear this glove, so he has a nice perch to sit on. It's a little bit thicker than our hands. Hello, buddy. Usually we work on some training in the mornings. Um, he is what we call a very tactile animal. He does like to be touched, um, and that is very helpful for our uh, veterinary examinations. We can actually feel what we call his heel. Um, we can see, you know, if his muscles are nice, nice and strong. Um, we can also check his wings. We're working on allowing our wings to be touched. Please, did I have enough? <laughs> that was a little hard to do his thing, but um, if we can kind of manipulate his wings and he lets us, we make it a positive thing for him. Um, we can actually check for abscesses or wounds in the future if he were to have any. So um, it's all about preventative care for our animals. All right, so we're gonna go clean some bird poop. Bald eagles, the date, very important. Um, today we have some 
salmon, and some whole quail. We make sure we get the right nutrition um, to everybody. So, we'll go ahead and feed them, clean their exhibit, check the fence. Um, in the, the zoo world, animals typically live a lot longer than they would in their natural habitat, just because they're not fighting for um, you know, competition for resources, food, you know, mates, um, finding a safe spot to sleep at nighttime. So um, they have pretty long, easy lives here. You hungry? We're gonna scrub the feces, check the fence, check for any uh, pellets that they may have cast. Um, and just make sure our pond is working and running. It's kind of funny to see them like running everywhere. <laughs> Hello! Good morning! What are we? Is this a Sammy? This is a Sammy. Come on, Sam! Come on, Sam, Sam! Very nice to care for the day. Come on, Sam! Their son, Sam. All right, Miss Mia. Good girl. All right, Sammy. Um, otters eat a lot of food. They have a very fast metabolism, so they typically eat about four times a day. Make sure that there are no spots that the otters can escape out of, making sure that nothing has fallen into our exhibit on accident. Um, checking their pond. mini badger meatballs. She's extremely smart. Um, we're gonna place some marks down for her. So I can see Target. Target. Good. So she's paying attention and she's looking towards me for direction. Spin. <laughs> Um, it's great using this tool. Um, as you can see, I can kind of manipulate where where she goes. Target, good. Um, I can have her go away from me, um, or I can ask her to come near me. Right there, She's right here. <laughs> um, it also gives our guests um, a really good opportunity to be able to view her from a you know view if they want. We're working on getting her to stand up a little higher. Good girl. Do you want belly rubs? Ooh, you want the belly rubs. And as much fun as this is, this is actually very valuable. Um, if, if she were to ever have um, an abscess or an injury um, underneath, you know, on her belly, um, we could actually um, kind of touch that and access that through this behavior right here. Um, so now that we've checked um, our animals, we've made sure everybody is alive. We've put everybody out on display for the public. We are open now um, so now it's time for kind of projects cleaning um, and making some animal diets so we'll go clean our otter holding clean some windows and make some animal food Okay, so what we're about to do next is sort produce that um, Walmart has donated to us. It's where a uh, large majority of our animal food actually comes from. So we're very grateful that we get a lot of stuff donated to us. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Friday, so we'll be making Sunday's diets. Let me check and see. 
have some fish, rabbit, mice, rats, another rat, and a bunch of fish for the otters. Mice, uh, some rats, and another rat. Yeah, that's why this target tool. Come on, Sam. Target. Good. All right, Sammy's. Water. Good boy. And we're out of food. Hi. What are you doing? All right, guys. So we've done a bunch of really amazing things here today at Zoo Montana. Uh, we've been about this for about four and a half hours now. It's only half of the day. We still have a lot left to do, but we fed some animals. We've cleaned some animals. We've done some training, some enrichment. Uh, we've taken a tour of the zoo, talked to some people, got to see one of my favorite guests here, um, but there's still a lot to do. So I'll uh, go take my lunch break and hopefully see you guys here at Zoo Montana. Bye.